Hello and welcome to a short demonstration of fictionalmaps.com. Fictionalmaps.com is a new platform where you can share the maps of your world as Slippy Maps, the type of online maps we all know from Google Maps, Apple Maps, Bing Maps and many others. So imagine it as Google Maps for your world. Please remember, the website is still in early development or early access if you will, and everything you'll see now is just an alpha version. If you're interested in all the features we have planned, Please have a look at our roadmap and let us Let's know head over to our control center. Here we find prominently the button to create a new map. So let's do that. The interface is quite simple. Just give it a name. Revolands. Then choose an image file to upload. and hit the upload button. The step may actually take a bit. What's happening right now is that the image is uploaded, is converted into a host of cascading image tiles, those are stored, the map engine is generated and the interface is prepared. But here we are. Our map was uploaded, so now let's have a look at it. Here's our quite simple Riverlands map. Zooming, panning, all working and smooth. Now the fun can begin. I click on this little map pin icon up here and then add it to the map by a single click. As you see, once I do this, I'm presented with a little pop-up form. Let's enter name Riverton. It's the capital of this region, so let's choose an appropriate city symbol. And also enter a short description, like regional capital of the Riverlands. This option right here determines at which zoom level the symbol is first shown. Two means it's always shown and that's what we want for our capital. It's also the standard value, so if you forget to set it, don't worry, your location will always be visible. Same goes for the icon, by the way. If you don't choose one, the basic blue map pin will be used. Great, we placed our first settlement. But one's not enough for such a reason, so let's add a town that's a little smaller and set it to zoom level 3. So it's only shown once we zoom in. Let's put it down here. So now we choose a town icon instead of a city icon. This one, oh no, not tower, I want a town. There we go. Set it to zoom level 3. And again, a short, appropriate description. Of course, you can enter um, as much text in the description box as you want. I'll just keep it simple here for our demonstration. Another town, famous for smoked fish. And we also need some villages. Let's put one here in the woods. I'm not very creative with names, but that's fine for now, I hope. Okay, that's a village. And that will be shown even later. Again, description. Maybe another one here.
there we go. To complete the picture, we add a little farm here in the middle. And now we could also go ahead and add some more flavor to the map by adding more symbols. Like, let's say, a volcano. Or maybe in the riverlands, a longboat floating on the river. Or something more sinister like fossilized Asian bones. But I think a simple bridge fits the theme of our map here best. Let's call it Whitewater Bridge. That will be shown fairly late. Now don't forget to click the save button and our little map here is finished. Great! We saved our work. Now let's head back to the control center and there we can see the map we just created. Click the name and we're brought to the audience map. There it is. There's Riverton. There's a description. And once we zoom in, all the other things pop up. Just as we defined it. Zoom level 3, zoom level 4, there are villages. And last but not least, there's a farm, and over there we see the bridge. Now we can simply take the link of this map and send it to all our friends or we can use the share button and share via social media or just email it and don't worry should you ever want to change something just hit the little edit button there and you're back to the authoring tool where you can change stuff like maybe we want to move paper turn over there further down the river. 